Labyrinth, a classic game from my own childhood. The rules are straightforward, but the puzzle might take some time to wrap your head around. Here are the stats. Let's get into it. You get four mystical magical playing pieces in blue, green, red, and yellow. You also get 24 of these lovely little treasure cards that correspond to treasures on the board. Speaking of which, you get a game board with 16 fixed path tiles. That board will be populated by these 34 square path tiles, just enough to fill up the empty paths with one lonely square left over. You must traverse the ever-changing maze, collect all of your desired treasures, and return to your original starting square to be declared the winner of Labyrinth. You can't play the game if you don't set it up. Shuffle the path tiles, face down, then randomly place them face up on the empty paths on the game board. Place the single remaining tile next to the game board. Shuffle the treasure cards and deal them evenly among all the players into face down decks. Finally, each player chooses one of the playing pieces and places it on its corresponding corner square. Now, we play. Each player secretly looks at the top card of their treasure card pile. Starting with the player that most recently went on a treasure hunt, each player will take a turn going clockwise. Every turn will be two steps, moving the maze and moving their playing piece. To move the maze, the player must take the remaining tile and push it into one of the paths with a yellow arrow. Now, the player may move their playing piece to any square in the maze that isn't blocked by a wall. If they stop on the square that has the treasure they're seeking, they immediately turn the card over and leave it face up in front of them. They then look at the new top card of the treasure card pile. Keep going through these steps over and over and over and over and over and... Labyrinth shall conclude when a player has escaped to their starting tile after turning over all of the treasure cards in their treasure card deck. The other players shall be trapped forever in the depths of the labyrinth. Just a couple of fiddly bits in this one. At a single page, the rules don't exactly have room to be complicated. When you move the maze, the remaining tile may never be pushed back into the same place it came from on the previous turn. Leave it where it fell from the maze to avoid getting confused. If the tile you push out of the maze has a playing piece on it, that piece is teleported over to the tile on the opposite side of that path. That player may still move from the new position, if it's their turn. So that's Labyrinth. That should cover everything. But if you still have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you liked this, please take the time to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching, everybody.